I'm sure by now you've seen many beautiful web designs generated by AI tools like Midjourney. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I use Midjourney and ChatGPT to design a hero section for a travel agency website. If you haven't used Midjourney before, you need to go to midjourney.com and join the beta. Now you need to accept the invitation and you will be redirected to Discord where you can start using the Midjourney bot to generate designs and images. Once you accept the terms and conditions, you can head over to one of these newbie channels and here is where you should type your prompts. You should start by typing slash imagine and then asking what you're looking for. The more detail you can include, the better, because the more context Midjourney has, the better designs it can generate. So here I'm going to type a beautiful website for a travel agency, UI UX design, minimal, orange, yellow, and website. It usually takes a few seconds for Midjourney to generate a few designs for us, but keep in mind that we are currently in the ideation process. So don't expect it to create a design ready to be implemented. It's not there yet. So here we've got four different designs. They look really good, but there are many things to be fixed. As you can see, the texts are too tiny and we might run into some accessibility issues. But the layout and color usage look great. So the way I use Midjourney to accelerate my design process is to get a few ideas regarding the composition of my project, color usage, and visuals. Because obviously we cannot use any of these designs at the moment. So I'm going to save this image and add it to my mood board. Now I'm going to generate a few visuals for my project and this is where you see the true power of Midjourney and the way it can really help you as a UI designer. I'm going to look for a 3D isometric illustration of an island. Here I'm going to type slash imagine beautiful 3D illustration of an island with a beach, yellow, orange, dash dash v4, which means we want to use the fourth version of Midjourney. All right, look what we've got. They look amazing, don't they? I really like this one. So to get the highest quality image, I'm going to upscale it. To do that, you just need to click on this U button. Now that we have the visual, let's start designing our hero section. I'm going to create a desktop frame in Figma and I'm going to add a 12 column layout grid to this frame. Now let's bring the illustration here. I'm going to place it on the right side like this and on the left side, I'm going to place the title, description and a search card. But before we do that, let's change the background color to match the illustration's background color. Sometimes you might need to refine the illustration to get rid of these edges. You can use Adobe Photoshop for that or you can just get rid of the illustration's background using the Icons 8 background remover plugin. Okay, next I'm going to quickly create a nav bar with a few links and buttons. Don't worry about the color usage yet, we will get back to it later. Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment and introduce the sponsor of today's video, InstaWP. If you're a WordPress user, you know that making changes to a WordPress site without testing them out can lead to a disaster. That's why before making changes live on your site, you should create a staging site first. It's basically a copy of your live site that's set in a private environment, allowing you to test out plugins. InstaWP is an ultimate time saver and easily the best solution for creating a portable staging environment. You can try it for free using the link in the description. Thank you InstaWP for sponsoring this video. All right, what else do we need for our hero section? Yes, you're right. We need copies for the title and description. That's where ChatGPT comes into play. Here I'm going to type, give me the headline and description for a travel agency website. There it is. If the description is too long, you can type, I need a shorter version of this description and it will shorten it for you. All right, let's copy and paste them here. Next, I'll design a search card with two inputs, the destination and the departure date and also a search button. Okay, now let's change our elements color. I'm gonna use the eyedropper to pick one color from the illustration and adjust it to fit my needs. This one looks good. I need a darker version of it for my text and a saturated one to use as my accent color. Now let's apply the colors to our text and buttons. And there we go. Our hero section is ready. So what do you think about AI? Is it going to replace UI UX designers anytime soon or not? 
let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to know how to become a great UI designer, make sure to check out this video. And as usual, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more UI UX design tutorials. Have a great day and see you next time.